No one sets out to harm the environment. Nonetheless, we do in the purchases and the investments that we make. These millions of environmentally harmful choices are driven by the market economy, because the market is a powerful force. So why, as an alternative, don't we harness the power of the market instead of trying to change it? It's easier to use the flow of the river than to try to redirect the river. That way, every time Canadians make a purchase or investment, they will be making a positive environmental choice. We'll have millions of people who feel like environmental heroes every day. And one concrete example of how we're bringing that type of a, type of a switch to the economy, to the fore, involves a, a proposal that we made last year to the federal government called Drive Green. It sought to make environmental heroes out of Canadians by using our tax system to discourage the purchase of gas guzzling cars and instead encourage the purchase of fuel efficient vehicles. Well, earlier this year, the government introduced a version of our dry green proposal. Yes, it was weaker than we'd like, but it was still the first time the government had ever used a carbon tax to protect the environment. We relied on computer economic modeling to convince the government to use this dry green proposal. Economic modeling is expensive, but it's also an important and persuasive tool because it allows in advance the economic and environmental consequences of putting a price on carbon to be shown to the government in advance of the actual introduction of the policy. We were able to conduct the modeling that prompted the government to act because of your generosity and the generosity of others like yourself. And for that, the Foundation and I are deeply grateful. Thank you.